money and business. And we're gonna talk about five ways that leaders can build team spirit. It goes without saying that a leader or a boss, owner, a CEO, whatever you go by, they are um, the mascot, if you will, of the company. They set the tone of the company. Team spirit, as defined on Coach Wooden's Pyramid of Success, is genuinely, it's a genuine consideration for others. It's an eagerness to sacrifice personal interests for the welfare of all. Building team spirit is the responsibility of the leader, of the owner of the company. It's the ability to get everyone in a group eager, not just simply willing to put we ahead of me. So the first thing for sure, for building team spirit, you're gonna to want to be a humble leader. A humble leader. The group needs to know that they work with you and not for you. Listen to ideas. Be open to change and to new possibilities. You're the CEO, not the smartest person in the world, right? If something good happens as a result of a suggestion that you received, then give the credit where it's due. If something bad happens as a result, um, because of a suggestion that was given to you, take the blame. That is what being a leader is all about. Two, have some rules or suggestions regarding how team members communicate with each other. Never criticize a teammate, and you shouldn't allow it to happen in your office either. Create a culture where negative criticism and gossip are not accepted. I know we've all heard of the phrase, if you, know, if you have nothing nice to say, then don't speak. This applies, and it only brings, you know, only bring good advice or good information that will help, not hurt the group. Three is to praise publicly and criticize privately. When you praise, give praise to those who are seldom acknowledged. In the pyramid of success, Coach uses the analogy of a race car and points it out that a bolt that keeps a wheel on the car is just as important as the engine that keeps it running. Everybody should know their, why their job is important and they should feel like their effort is appreciated. Four is to let your team members know that their personal goals only have a chance of being accomplished if the team accomplishes its goals. Simply put, you can't get paid or you can't get, you know, a raise if there is no company. <clears throat> Five, share with your team the joy and the importance of giving. Winning teams are characterized by unselfish team play. I believe that teaching our players to look for the pass first and then the, sh the shot second helps be build, I'm sorry, team spirit. I try to build this concept off of the court too. Coach Wooden described, you cannot live a perfect day without doing something for someone without the thought of repayment. There is a mystical law of nature that the three things that mankind craves most, freedom, happiness, and peace of mind cannot be attained without first giving them to someone else. Team spirit results when the leader inspires those same traits within his or her team and in doing so, unites all the members to work toward their shared goal. There you have it, five ways that you can help build team spirit.